Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to episode 11 of Refactorio Let's Play to how to launch a rocket guide. Uh, in this video, we hopefully will be launching a rocket today. Um, we are about 45 minutes away from the achievement. There is no spoon. Um, our rocket silo is at about 85% done researching, and as soon as that's done researching, we're going to uh, kick off all our science, and we're just going to focus right on the rocket silo. Uh, so let's jump right into it. Uh, the first thing I noticed from our last playthrough last time is we are a little bit low on copper. Um, we did expand our copper quite a bit last time, but we still don't have enough copper. So we are going to go down to our little outpost down there and add some more mining drills quickly. Uh, time is actually of the essence right now because we are almost within that there is no spoon achievement. Um, I wasn't initially planning on aiming for that, but uh, since we're so close, might as well go for it now. Finish those up. This belt here is fully saturated, and we're going to add another line right next to it. So we're going to double our outpost size here. So we'll have two full yellow lines coming in. Two full yellow lines. Um, iron was still holding on, but copper was not holding on with our red chip production. And red chips were slowing us down for making blue chips and uh, rocket control units. So... Make our belt like this. It's obviously not the optimal belt setup, but we're using our leftover space here, so you get what you get. Something like that. How many additional belts have we added here now? That is the real question. Grab another mining drill, put it there. Sneak some undergrounds right there. It's not an optimal setup, but we just need it to work. I just need more. If this can get me more, then I'm happy. I'm going to make that side top load and this go like that. Um, it'll probably be a near saturated line. Not quite, but close. And then we're going to expand our iron right after this. Go, go, go. Rocket style is so close. But we could still easily fail this quest of ours right now. And we're going to grab a setup like that. We don't need the top part there. Our bots are going to come build this for us. Or at least build all the parts that they have. Grab that to there. This will be our raw copper input. And then we just need our fuel line. Fuel, fuel, fuel. Which we can just snag from right there. So now we are making a bit of pasta. And that's quite alright here because we just need this to work. I don't care if it's pretty, it just needs to work. How you work, that's a whole different issue. Just work. Actually, lining up kind of nicely here right now. So they have their fuel. And then we have an additional copper here. Um, I do believe that we don't have steel furnaces automated. 
we are missing 20 of them. So we'll build 20 and then we'll throw them on a belt. Or throw them into our logistics network, rather. Bots are doing their thing, which is beautiful. We're going to place a yellow splitter there and then upgrade it. And the bots will make it into a red splitter. Looks like our ores are actually almost keeping up here. If a couple of these lines were a bit faster, I think we'd be okay. <clears throat> we're going to do a filter here and just pull out just the copper here. And I'm going to put it into this line. So just the copper is coming up. The excess copper from that line. Give me more copper. Um, again, we do not have any of the belts in the network or the uh, furnaces in the network. So I'm going to quickly go here and dump my furnaces. They needed 20. There's 21. So they should be happy with that. Apparently, we're missing a mining drill or two. So I'll give them some mining drills. And our rocket silo is so close to being ready. Build some more of these guys. We're going to go check over and see what our sciences are doing. Um, blue science is probably done at this point, so I can turn the blue science off. We're going to just turn these off. I'm going to assume that we have enough blue science. The last bit of rocket silo tech there. Um, we don't need these anymore either. I'll keep one on, just so I remember what the recipe was there. Uh, purple science is also good. Purple can get turned off. We'll keep one on. And yellow. How's yellow looking? Uh, yellow might be the thing slowing us down right now, so we're going to wait on the yellow. Uh, rocket control units are building, but we're missing speed modules. Speeds are just a bit too slow. And speeds are too slow because we don't have red chips. And red chips are too slow because they don't have copper. So we just added more copper. So that should help. Theoretically. I'm going to run down to these over here. And I'm going to grab the productivity modules out of this building. Apparently I can't. So then I'll just pick up the building. I don't quite want to remove everything. And we want to kind of keep it set up so for future factory builds we know what's going on. Um, careful with your long arm inserters here if you notice they're picking up from one side of the belt and handing off to each other. They're just trying to give me a hard time. And we'll leave one of each building here. Make the bots finish that. Okay, so rocket silo is finished. Now we stop our teching, and we're going to quickly get our rocket silo up and running in a minute. I do have a productivity th three modules as well, so I'm not going to build it with anything other than productivity threes. They should be hiding. I don't know where I put them. Where did I put them? The great mystery. So now that all these are turning off, we should be backing up on other resources and making other things build a bit faster. So you notice now the red chips are only going down this way. They're not being used for anything else. These productivities don't need to be built anymore. There's no more use of those. I think I put it over here, maybe. We need to find those threes before we move on with our life. Oh, I actually have them on me. Okay. Well, that works then. Our blue chips are backing up, which is actually bad. Red chips here. We're going to do output priority down that side. And I grab all these. Actually, we don't. That's the wrong one. I don't want output priority there. I want the output priority on this one here. So we don't need to make furnaces anymore. But now we're seeing more copper get up here. And these chips go in there. That's too many for that guy. So now those are building, and we're going to get the rocket silo itself built now. Uh, so we need 200 blue chips, 200 engines, 1,000 concrete. This thing here as well. 
I hope we're already up. We don't need to build these anymore. I'm going to run up here for a moment's time. We're going to grab our upgrade planner. And we're going to upgrade these and put proactivities in them. They'll be a bit slower, but they'll be giving us a higher yield. So anything helps. So they're slower, and then we'll have more copper coming through. Low density is still building as much as it can. I believe all our copper should be coming through. Yeah, it's coming. It's just not producing fast enough. And the rocket silo. So I'm going to put all the items I need for my rocket silo right here in this chest. Um, yellow science is turned off now. Output priority is now this. I'm actually just going to remove that belt there. Going to grab all these. So our blues, 200 blues. How much steel did it need? I did not mean to do that. That's okay. We'll go there. I'm just getting rid of the garbage because I'm going to have to pick up so much items here in a moment's time. We need more engines. So we need 200 of those. <clears throat> what else are we missing? A thousand steel. Uh, steel is doing pretty good for us right now. Another reason why you kind of want stuff on chests. So we have 200. We'll go to a faster belt here. Go jump on these red belts. 300. This is not an item I would ever automate. You very, even on giant, giant mega bases, you never need multiple rocket silos. A few will go a long way. Almost have a thousand. So close. And then we need to grab our concrete. There we go. Put that in our trash. So we almost have everything we need. We just need the concrete now. The pipes, we have the pipes. And the concrete we automated over here. And it shuts a 730. It's actually not enough yet. And that's okay, because the thing that's going to slow us down the rocket silo is actually going to be the items we need. Hope we type backslash. Wow. Typing is hard. Uh, we have 37 minutes to get the rocket up in the air. It's going to be gonna be a close one here. 37 minutes. Mm -hmm. I can put this to there. Give it all those items. Grab all those items. So we're just missing the concrete right now, which is is what it is, I guess. Um, this here, we're going to swap over like that. And we're going to bring the low density in now, too. So rocket fuel is here. Low density is over here, should be. It should be on this, this belt right here. I can tell just by looking at the low density, it's not enough of it. And there's our low density. Should I at least dignify it with a proper chest? I think so. Rocket control units are building nicely, I think. <clears throat> Seems okay. And then we look at our rocket fuel is pretty backed up, so that's good there. But low density is not doing great right now. It is a copper killer. I need to make sure my copper is actually getting fed through properly. Copper, copper, copper. So we have a few sections of the rocket right there, 10%, give or take. This copper. Oof. Oof. The poor copper. And then the concrete. Just using it all. None is getting over here anymore. 
For some reason, these guys are... This is not set up properly. Oh, that was a mistake as well. Almost had it set up and then didn't do it. Should have looked at our uh, bot requester chest. The pressure's too much. So we're going to get a few more of those. Let's go pull this line out here like that. We're going to do an output priority. Um, actually, I don't even care if it's output priority. We'll just let it do what it does. Well, we'll do an input priority here. We want to use the bottom line before the top line. So now we should have this line here saturating on us. Like that. Make this guy work a bit faster. That should get us more copper. We should be seeing a mostly fully saturated copper line all the way down. It's crazy how much we're using. Green chips are backing up on us though, so there's that. Output priority we're going to do up now. Although it kind of already was up. Run back over here. Rocket control units are accumulating on us. I'm going to uh, run this around for a second. I would like to know how many we have. And now we're building them too slow, and that's okay. It's low density. We need to work on low density. If we're going to make this time... So copper is finally making it across now. Um, it's almost too much red chips I can see right now. So I can see the red chips all backing up there. Um, so we're not making enough speeds, and that's okay. But that means we need to make more of these guys. So we're going to grab a setup of two of these buildings. Place them down right there. So we're inputting and we're outputting long. Go long. This is our output line here. This is the input line. And I need to bring the plastic there. Which is quite easy. Um, these are steel as well though. So maybe... We'll have the steel go up there and the plastic go down. Steel's right there. Steel's everywhere. All of our resources are kind of everywhere right now. Especially up over in this section of the factory. It's kind of a... It's becoming a hot mess, but... We're now racing against the clock, so... When I start doing that, and when you start doing that, you'll start making a... Just need it to work. Let's get it going. But you'll notice that once you do get to the rocket, it's still a... Ways to go. We still got a lot of uh, teching to build to make it actually happen. Grab one more. I'm gonna run this low density down, and we gotta connect into our main area. If I make this red undergrounds, we need this to be able to go right there. So if you're red, and you're red, and then you're red. There's an easier way we could have done that, but that works. We're now racing the clock, though. Good. Let's see how the concrete's looking. And what are we missing? I'm missing proactivities, and I have a bunch of them on me. We shall allow the bots to build with them. There you go, bots. Don't say I never gave you nothing. 
race the clock. We do have this power armor that we never set up yet. Um, I don't think we'll set it up this current video. Um, we have other things we need to get running here. We have 350, so we have enough to build a rocket silo. Let's go. Let's go, rocket hype. So close, but yet so far. Time, so we have 29 minutes. <laughs> Very close. I'm cutting it close. I'm cutting it close. That's okay, though. It's, uh, I believe they call it a nail biter. It's not building a rocket silo. Why build it in that and not handcraft it? Uh, this is just nice because you can put all the resources in it. You don't have to have your inventory clog with resources. Would be the only reason why you do this. Now, if you pick this up, historically, if you picked it up, you'd lose all the stuff in between the crafting. I don't know if that's still the case. But we are going to do something here as well. And I'm going to ensure that this doesn't work. <clears throat> I do not want this to start working without me putting the productivities in it. So pick up the inserters. Last thing you want is to start using your resources. And it I f always forget how big it is. The amount of times I built this rocket silo and uh, forget how big it is. And there you go. See, I did it. We started, we automated it without it actually having all the items in it. Mistakes were made. Um, so now we're 1% in and we are getting bonus productivity 10%. So we're getting a bonus 40% productivity. And this low density is still our big problem here, it looks like. We can go look at productivity and see how we're building our items. Uh, we're building uh, 13 of these a minute, so that's not horrible. Uh, we're actually building more at low density. It's going to be these. Rocket control unit's going to slow me down. It's a trick. It looks like it's going to be low density, but it's not. <clears throat> And these should also have proactivities in it. And then we're going to grab that setup. It's also nice because the bots will rip these trees down for us. Let me quickly make a fake blueprint there for a moment's time. <clears throat> I'm going to go on the inside line there. We don't have any assemblers. So we'll place the assembler down ourselves. <clears throat> the pressure's getting to me. I'm going to grab a few more of those and we are going to build a few more productivities. I just need a few more. And then we'll grab this. And the bots will build this as well. It's mostly nice when you just don't have the items on you. <clears throat> Rocket is now at uh, 23 out of 100. So we actually... Sh we might be able to do it. It's... Uh, I'm kind of... Biting my own nails here. Actually, not really, but let's see if we'll actually finish this in time. It's close. Very close. I didn't anticipate this happening, so it's kind of cool when it is kind of happening. Blue chips are okay backed up right now. Give that some bonus there. Trying to throw proactivities in there. I could actually steal them out of the labs. Low density is still okay. Rock controlling it. Yeah, you can tell rocket controlling it's struggling really hard right now, too. Low density is not doing so much better, but 
It is being built. Could do this and carry the line across. We got a nail biter, folks. It's not pulling the resources so fast that I'm worried about it. The plastic, that is. I can go there. Plastic might not be able to keep up. And we are ready for that. There's another way of setting up your oils. Is that in uh, bot range? It is, it is. So we kind of double our output there. Maybe even build two more. Two more. So I had four buildings producing right now. And now we'll have double that. Go there. Um, I don't think I have any fast inserters, so we'll grab those quickly. Or apparently we do. Okay. I'm going to be putting on both sides of the line, which is going to kind of mess this up here. This balancer that we put on. Uh, we will stop the priority on it. That goes there. And then we need the copper to pull across here. Missing power lines again. I'm worried. I'm worried, folks. It looks like I do have some productivities being built the entire time here. Secretly. In secret. That purple is going to. Uh, so rocket control, 60% rocket actually. Wow. Okay. We, uh, we truck through that. If we go backslash time, we have 21 minutes to get the rest of it built. And we are, yeah, we're trucking through it here. 60%. Uh, we should be able to build it in time. Turning sciences off really helps a lot. Just make sure you remember... How your base was before you removed everything. Power is good. Rock control units are building as quick as possible. Can get more uh, buildings in here too. Okay, remove this. Copy that. Look at that. Blue just backing up. We're at 63 now out of 100. And it's still rocket control units. Low density structure is ahead of rocket control units, keeping up. Rocket fuel is. Ooh, it's depleting really bad on us. But we do have a full chest, so 10, 20, 30. Um, that should be the 40% right there. It's kind of hanging out in that chest. So now we can move this a bit. Because he's now in the way. You go there. Twentieth chance the charm. And then we'll just copy the inside of that. And then copy that. 
are we in Roboport range? Yep, we are. Copy the blueprints. So the building is building the exact same there. It's still biting my teeth here. Trying to chop that tree out. It's close, but I think we made it. I think we made it. We're at 65 right there. The parts are building quickly. Low density is doing its thing. Rocket fuel is doing its thing. So we uh, we did it. expand our factory properly in time to get this all set up. Um, I'm not going to touch any of the science right now. We're just going to let it do its thing. Um, I'm quite happy with this, this playthrough. Um, after this video is done, this current session, I guess you could say, uh, we're going to do some uh, entry level to, I guess everyone calls it entry level to mega base. I'll show how you can kind of go from this to getting a base that's launching many factories. Many factories. Many factories are getting launched. No, many uh, rockets are being launched. And kind of what the next step of a vi uh, base like this is. Um, our first next step is probably, you probably want to set up a rail network in all honesty. Anytime you have an actual big mega base, you need more resources. And the best way to import your resources across the map in a reasonable speed is not belting. Belting works for a small amount, but it starts being really, really, really expensive when you have to have belts from here to there and there and there. Because a rail line you set up once and everybody can access that, but the belt doesn't work like that. So belts are fine when the distance is short, but when you have a really long distance, Rail wins that every time. Um, I believe it's like that in real life as well. So, makes sense. These guys here are still building. We're just kind of babysitting this and making sure everything works as intended. Um, maybe make some turrets. Put some turrets around here. Would that be funny if we uh, lost our rocket silo to biters? It's actually super strong, the uh, rocket silo. It'd be pretty hard to lose it to biters. You'd be not paying attention. It has 5,000 hit points. But you never know. We'll give you the good ammo. We'll actually move this a little bit. And surround it with a wall. Our lone defense is here. And I don't know. Will they attack? They haven't attacked yet. We toned them down quite a bit push them really far away from the starting area so we'll see 74 percent hype hype i remember the first time i ever built a rocket we handcrafted half of these parts we built a rocket we just stood here and handcrafting the parts we thought i was like oh you only need to build like two parts and the bar goes and then we realized you needed to build hundreds of rocket control units and hundreds of low density structure so i think we got to like 20 percent of the rocket and we're like wait a minute you should automate that too. <laughs> so I would definitely recommend automating it and not handcrafting it. Handcrafting is is a thing, but not the way to go. Automate everything, especially the very, very end of the game. It's like we played the entire game and we didn't learn anything. The game is all about automation. At the very end, we decided to switch it to handcrafting. <laughs> Can't win them all, right? And that was about... 4,000 hours ago. And then I started the wonderful world of mods in Factorio. So for all you newer people who uh, think that this is the end game of Factorio, this is actually kind of one of the more beginning aspects of the game, getting your rocket up and running. We still haven't touched beacons yet. I haven't built a single beacon. I don't even think I've researched beacons yet. Oh, I have. So beacons are interesting. Um, they rechanged the graph. They rechanged. They changed the graphic for beacons in uh, point eight halfway through the. I want to say wipe, but I'm not playing Escape from Tarkov, so wipe is not the right word. Um, they changed the graphic halfway through the patch. Am I a fan of it? Um, I'm actually not. I don't really like it. It needs to kind of wear on me, I guess. But uh, whatever. I'm not the game dev, and uh, everything else the game devs have done has been amazing. So. Cool. So we got our beacon here. And you see this little zone around the beacon. You're like, okay, what does this do? What this does is it amplifies the effect of the item you put inside of it. So if I have a speed module here, 
right now our rocket silo is building at negative 60% speed, which is fine because it's not getting the resources fast enough anyways. So it doesn't matter how slow it is or how fast it is. If you can make it times 1 million speed, but if I'm not giving it the parts it needs, it's not going to work any faster anyways. And I put a beacon in here. This does proactivity, but now it's getting an effect from this beacon here. This beacon is like powering this building up to make it a bit better. And now it's crafting at negative 50% speed. But now you can add more beacons all the way around it and make the building go faster. And I can put another module in as well. Now it's at minus 40% instead of negative 60. And you can do that with majority buildings. You can add it uh, beacons around them. You can put it onto oil pump jacks. So your pump jack is dying. It's going slower and slower. Surround it with beacons and make it go faster and faster and faster. Uh, you can put it onto buildings like these here. So one reason why I generally will leave a triple space in my builds is so I can put beacons in between them. But one thing you do want to note, though, is this makes the building use plus 50% energy. And this building was already using a lot of energy because it had productivity modules in it. So now this building, if you look at the bottom right on the max consumption, it's using plus 130% power. So this building itself is using 345 kilowatts. This one over here is using 270. So this one here is, and we'll just look at one without any modules in it. This one here is using 155. And this one here is using 345. So this building here uses triple the power versus this one here. So what's better? Beacons all the way, but just know that your power grid is going to get murdered. And then we put more in it like this. And it's going to be even worse or even better, I guess, depending on how you look at the scenario. Now this building is using 495 kilowatts of power. And that's only three beacons affecting it. You could put another beacon right there and this could be even more power using, but it's actually building at plus 30% speed. So these ones out down here are going negative 30 and this one's going plus 30. And these are only tech one speed modules. Now the possibilities with beacons are, I'd say endless. They're not quite endless, but they're a lot. And you can do some crazy stuff with beacons and make your buildings work super fast uh, and make your productivity modules work for you. But notice that you really start pulling your power grid a lot when you put beacons down. We only have three and three of these are using almost as much. Actually, three of these are using more power than 112 assembly machine ones. So. I generally, one of my big things of once I start making my factory bigger, bigger after this is I work on my power grid because once you start slamming beacons down everywhere, say you automate these and you just put beacons everywhere, I will delete my power grid. It will be like 1.4 megawatts is a lot of power and that's just three beacons. It's also making the building use more power as well. So take that into consideration before you start slamming beacons everywhere. Uh, we're at 96 here. But beacons, I love them. Love them. An amazing invention for this game. Look at this rocket silo. We're going to wall it in. We're going to make it beautiful. So for those who don't know, I do have a Discord server. Uh, we're pretty active on it. There's quite a few members. Uh, we play a variety of games. Um, in the community, there's some World of Warcraft people. There's some Factorio people. There's some Battle Brothers people. There's some Escape from Tarkov people. There's Bath of Exile people. Um, it's quite the community. Diablo 2. Uh, we're kind of all over the place. But uh, that's just kind of how gamers are these days. Um, so you can join that. I'll put the information for the Discord below in the video. I was actually pointing at the ground there, but I'm not sure why. Our rocket silo is now building. That's a rocket. And we are going to launch a productivity module. Why am I going to launch a productivity module? Because that's what this playthrough is. Expanding your productivity. <laughs> Did I plan that? No. But it worked well. And there we go. We launched a rocket. And we are... I think we're under 8 hours. I think. You'll tell me in a minute. <laughs> 7 hours? And 50 minutes, we launched a rocket. Easy game. Uh, we didn't fight any biters, apparently. Um, that's okay. I'm normally a pretty big death world guy, but uh, there we go. We did the achievement. There is no spoon showing you that it is very possible. That's super slow. Um, 
I've done a default speed run around four and a half hours, default settings, so the resource deposits are much smaller. Um, but it shows that it is possible, so you can do this. Uh, but yeah, I want to say thanks for watching the Zero Two Rocket series, and uh, we will be doing a post-rocket launch in this factory as well. So there'll be a couple more videos after this. And uh, again, thanks for watching, and if you liked it, Put a like on the video that does help the youtube algorithm i do believe so more people can see the content and uh, we can go from there so thanks for watching and until next we meet this is yamakara the factory must grow